Right, bon everybody, hope we're all fit and well, no illness, no injuries, nothing we need to worry about. Remember we always take it to our own level, if there's any, any exercises you're not sure on, or you struggle with progressions, just stick to the basic one, or shout up if we need. So let's stand nice and tall, setting ourselves up, shoulders back, tummy's drawn in, feet under hips and arms down at the side, and that little lean forwards, catch your weight on your toes, and then back to just before you think you're going to fall. We'll do that a few times, just wakes our senses up, finds that balance point, gets us set and ready to move. So as we go forward, remember we're leaning right from the ankles, catching the weight on the toes. It's not about going up to tiptoes, we're just stopping ourselves falling. So one more. Now we find that spot where we should be nicely balanced. And we're going to set that lower spine, tilting that pelvis under and then back. Finding that neutral spine. That's it. Tilt that pelvis in, little squeeze of the tummy, then the arch in the bottom of the spine. That's good, a few more. I think you need to soften the knees, find that more comfortable, that sets the spine better. Absolutely fine. Good, one more. And then find that spot now, you're nicely balanced with a neutral spine. Getting those feet moving, pedaling those feet, pressing them into the ground. That's it, and arms join in. So we're walking arms. So we're from the shoulder, not the elbow. That's it, we gradually increase that range of movement. Bringing it up, so we've got those arms up to shoulder height. And then taking it slightly further until we're reaching all the way up, and we're pressing both arms back. That's it. Nice and steady, still pushing that foot down into the ground. Excellent. Do a couple more. And bringing that back down. Okay, so we're standing nice and tall. Still got those feet under hips. I want you to take your weight onto one leg. We're just going to roll that ankle. So rotating that round. If you need to hold on to a bit of furniture on the wall to help the balance, no problem. Change direction with the ankle. Don't worry if it's creaking and cracking a little bit, as long as that's not painful. That's it. Good, and bringing that down. Setting yourself onto the other leg. Raise that foot again. And then rotate that ankle. That's good, change direction. Good, a couple more. Back down. Okay, so we're still stuck, stood nice and tall, keeping weight to one leg. I want to draw that circle around your standing leg. Okay, just keep the rest of the body as still and tall as we can. Draw that nice circle around that standing leg. And 
Bring that down, change your legs. So reset yourself, get that balance again. Draw that circle around. When we're doing these, the exercises are really about that leg that's moving. It's about the rest of you keeping standing tall and resisting the falling over that the leg wants to make you do. First leg, standing nice and tall, just sweeping that forwards and back. Again, aim to keep standing as tall and still as we can. If you do struggle with that balance, not a problem, use a chair, bit of furniture, the wall, whatever we need. Standing as still as we can. Excellent. Good. Two more. back down, well done. Okay, take your feet out a little bit wider now, so I've probably shoulder width on just wider, very, very slight bend in the knee, I'm just going to circle those hips around. Again, if you get a little bit of creaking, cracking, popping, as long as that's not painful, just those joints loosening up, little bubbles popping in the joint, nothing to worry about. Be able to keep your head fairly still and those hips are rotating underneath. Good, one more. And change direction. That's it. Nice and steady. Just sweeping those hips around in that nice wide circle. Last one, and bring that back together. Okay, we're gonna keep our feet nice and wide, pointing the toes slightly outwards. We're just gonna take that down and back up. That's it. Good, nice and steady. More, then we're going to change it up a little bit. Good, one more. Oh, so this time, as we go down, we're going to take that reach out wide as we squat down. So we're taking it out. Good, so we we'll look to the hand as we take it out. So we're not really reaching back, we're just reaching out to the side. So it adds a little bit of rotation, changes the emphasis on the leg. That's good. to each side 
and bringing that in. Excellent. Okay, bring those feet back in. Nicely under your hips and stood tall. We're going to do our Pilates squats. Remember, knees trapping forwards. Bum sticks out behind as we sit. Bring it up. So we're taking those knees to about 90 degrees. If you do struggle, you can do it a little bit less. Make it slightly shallower. Or we can go that deep to that 90. Excellent. That's it. Keeping that going. Good, one more, bring it up. Okay, so we're gonna do that squat again, but this time, as we dip, we're gonna pause, rotate to both sides, back, and then up. So we're gonna come down, rotate, rotate, and bring in that up. Come down, twist, twist, and up. Excellent, well done. Keep those going. Really good, that's it. A few more times. That's it. Good, we'll do one more. And lifting that up. Excellent, well done. Okay, so we're standing nice and tall. Just gonna turn that down to the side. Reaching down and slightly out as we go. So reaching that out. We're just going to gradually reach slightly wider and slightly higher. Taking that until we're reaching out. 90 degrees to the body, look into that hand, that's it, look and reach nice and wide, good, taking that out, so now we're going to start to reach back and over that shoulder, so we're starting to get that rotation coming into the back, look into the hands, Take it up nice and wide. That's it. A few more. Good. Last one. And we'll take it in. A few rotation. Bringing that around. Nice and steady. You want your eyes, pull out your hands. Loosen that back up. Really easing ourselves out. You can release your heel. That's it. So you're looking right round over that shoulder, all the way behind. Excellent. A couple more times. That's it. And bring that back to centre, let your balance come back, just reset for a few seconds. And if you're not at the end of your mat, just want you to step towards one end, feet still nicely under hips. We're going to take those hands high, roll ourselves down, down towards those toes, slowly unroll, uncurl that back, stack the vertebra, reach high. Lovely ease out for all of the spine, the glutes, the hamstrings. That's it. Bringing that down. Excellent. That's good. A couple more times. 
making sure we're curling down, so we're tucking that chin, rolling the shoulders, curling in. Really good. Okay, this next time when we go down, it's hands to the mat. We're gonna walk it out into that kneeling box. So we're gonna take it to kneeling, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, and into that cat stretch. So we're pushing up that spine, head down, and then rotate that through. So head up, bum up, spine down. Rotate back through, push it up through that spine. And down. That's it. Good. Couple more times. Push up. Take it down. One last one. Push it up right through that spine. Out to that back up. Down, curl that spine, let it out, down, head up, pull in the air, and then let's sit back onto those heels, stretching out through the shoulders into your child pose. That's good, hold for a few seconds. Bringing that back up. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start on our fronts in that kneeling box position. So the position we're adjusting there. We're going to start with our basic Superman, so that extending one arm forwards, opposite leg going back. We're going to start with that one, and then we'll build a second movement in. Okay, so when we're ready, let's get back down into that kneeling box. Hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips, and we're just extending, go for that nice long straight line, shoulders level, hips level, back stays flat, rest in that tray of drinks on your back, you're not wanting it to twist and tip it off, so that's it, focus on that long straight line, if you can see yourselves on your screen, just have a check but you're not going too high with the leg. That's it, really good. Good, a few more times. for a few seconds. So this time, we're going to start, same movement. We're going to extend. When we extend, we're then going to circle the arm and leg four times one way, four times the other, bring it back in, and change. So we're pausing, those circles, and back in. Are we ready? So we extend, we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and in. Switch sides. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it, and keep that going. Excellent. So just keep that pattern going. Done. A few more times. So it's not big circles, <clears throat> just small and controlled. That's it. Don't worry if you're down and you like your opposite directions, as long as you've got those small controlled circles, that's absolutely fine. Good. 
for one more each side. One more time, that's it. And bringing that in, well done. If you just want to sit up, take that pressure off your wrist, or drop back to your child's pose, have a little ease out, whichever is better. Okay, we're going back into that kneeling box position, but we're mending it, we're going to drop to our elbows. So, we're a little bit lower. From here, we're going to touch our temple with one arm. We're going to go under in a sort of thread the needle, and open up. So it's from a low elbow, we take it under and open. So we take it from that lower position to usual. Good, a few more. Good, one more. And bring that down. We just need to move before we drop back down, have a little ease out. Take it back down onto the other side. down onto our elbows, so we've got that low box position, touch the temple, bring it through, and rotate. as we can. Good, two more. And bring that back. Excellent. Good. Right, so we're going to take it down into our long plank. So, elbows down. On our feet, you can work off knees if we need to. If you find the full plank too difficult, drop down onto your knees, but still go that straight line from shoulders to knees or straight line shoulder to feet. First one, we're just gonna hold. Then each time I'm gonna add a little bit of movement in on your next two. So we're gonna do it three times. So down onto our elbows, feet extended behind, and hold. That's a nice long straight line. Try not to get that bum sticking up in the air or hanging too low. That's it, we're holding. Can we do 10 more seconds? And rest it there. Have a little stretch if you need. Okay, so this time, we're going to start, same position, elbows down, nice long straight plank. Then we're going to walk our feet out, so we're going to go wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow with our feet. Okay, so when we're ready, down, elbows down onto the mat, legs extended behind, and hold. And then move our feet. So we go wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Last foot in is the first one to move back out. That's a really good. Good, 
good. One more. And let's down. Excellent. Okay, so this time, we're going to movement to the front end. So we're going to go from a low plank to a high plank. So we're going to walk it up and down. Okay, are we ready? Let's take it down onto the mat, into a low plank, extend and hold. Now take it up and down. Good. One more. And rest it there. Excellent. Well done. Really good. Okay, moving on to our sides now. So we're going to start in that nice long extended position, resting on our hip, arm underneath the head, legs long and straight. Stretch that out, arms under the head, we're resting on that hip bone, drawing the waist away from the mat if you can, feet fractionally off the ground if you can, if you do need to rest them down, no problem. And we're going to start with that single leg lift. You can do this a few times, then add in second movement. That's it, so we're going to add in that knee drop. So our next lift, we're going to drop in front, knee down, up, together. So we lift, drop, up, together. Keeping that going. Okay, so staying on our side, I want you to bend your knees and bring yourself up onto one elbow. So we're in a slightly raised position with our knees bent. We're going to take a dynamic side plank. So we're just going to lift from here to we're up. So just working those muscles in our side there to lift us up. Really good. Two more. Good. Two more. Last one. And bringing that back down. I want you to keep your knees bent. But lay yourself back down with the arms at 90 degrees to the body. We're going to open the door, but we'll be doing it. we're going to do it by drawing that semicircle around the head. So we're going to trace that finger around. Let your eyes follow your hand. But we're tracing that circle around rather than going over the top. That's it. There you go. Nicely done. Steady way around the body. That's good. A few more. Good. Last one. Sweep around. Bring that together. Good. 
Good, arms together. Let's take it over onto your other side. So same three exercises. So start and extend it out. Nice and long. Arm under the head, hand in front of balance. Gonna start with that single leg lift. But nice and steady. That's it. Really good. Couple more. We're adding that knee drop. So on your next one. So we're going to lift, drop, lift. And together, up, drop, up, together. Excellent, keeping that going, nice and steady. Good, two more. Bending those knees up, lifting ourselves up onto our elbow, taking that side plank up and back down. Good, keep that going nice and steady. Gradual lift, pausing that plank. Good, two more. And bringing that down. Okay, keeping those knees bent. The arm out at 90 degrees, the other hand on top, and draw that circle around your head. Really loosens out, eases out that shoulder, just that rotation in your spine. That's it. If you like me, shoulders are quite tight, or creep and crack a little bit as they go around. now. So I want you to start laid back with your legs bent, head back on the floor and hands are pointed up to the ceiling. We're just going to start with a single leg slide so that leg just skims over the ground as you bring that back arm, opposite arm drops behind our head Keep it nice and steady. Breathe in as the arm goes back, breathe out as it raises. That's good. So keeping that going. It's a steady movement. Try not to let the arch and the bottom of the spine over exaggerate. If you do find that happening, just engage that core, tighten those abs in. And that'll reduce that curve at the bottom of the spine. 
Most people will naturally have a curve at the bottom of the spine, so your back won't be totally flat on your mat. And you don't want it to over exaggerate. Good, couple more. That's so we'll do one more on each leg. Last one. Bringing that in. Excellent. I want you to bring your feet now and your legs up into that tabletop position. So at 90 degree bend at hip and at knee. Bring the arms up and then bend 90 degrees at the elbow. You've got that pec deck position with your arms. You're going to drop one knee out to the side. Other knee stays straight up. Bring it in. Opposite knee out to the other side. One at a time. Okay, so once we've got that movement, you drop opposite arm out to the side. That's it, back and hips, stay flat on the floor. Just one arm, one leg moving. That's it. Really, really good. It's nice and steady, it's really controlled. Taking us steadily out to the side, bringing it in. Good. One more each side. Bring that in. Have a little hug of those knees if we need to ease out. We're going to stay in that tabletop with the leg. This time, hands back down on the mat in a very slight V. Just gives a bit more support. And we're going to do a double knee drop down. So your knees drop. Use those muscles around the core to bring those knees up and over. So we breathe in as the knees drop. Breathe out on the effort of lifting. Breathe in, breathe out. So we lower the knees just as far as when this opposite shoulder starts to lift. That's it. So to bring that up nice and steady. That's good. Keep that going over a few more times. Control. Arms are just there for balance. We're not pushing on those arms to lift us up and over. It's all done by those obliques, those muscles on that side, raising, bringing those knees up and over. That's good. One more each way. Bring that back up to centre and slowly bring yourself up to sitting. So we're nearly there, last couple. So sitting yourself up, nice and tall, hands forward, I'm just gonna roll that back. Curling that spine into that C shape as we go back. Bring that nice and steadily up. That's it, couple more, and we're gonna add an extra little bit in. So this time when we go back, we're gonna pause, we're gonna beat the hands. And take it up. Good. Let's take it back and pause. Up. 
belly there. And bring that up. Okay, last exercise. I want you to extend your legs nice and long and straight. Lay yourself all the way back. Hands round behind the head. We're going to roll ourselves up. So hands come over. Head lifts. Watch those hands. As we slide forward, slide along the legs towards the toes. And then reverse. So we're curling back. We're unrolling that spine. The eyes pull the hands back. Good. So we bring it over, we lift, we tuck the chin, we roll the shoulders, we curl the spine, take it forwards, slowly back as we unroll, taking that over, good, two more, reach in for those toes, take it back, okay this one as we come up, Tuck that chin, roll, slide towards your feet. If you can grab your toes, get hold of them, stretch the hamstrings. If not, grab the shins or the ankles. Let's stretch those hamstrings. Good. And release. Let one leg lift and cross over the other. And let's turn towards the hip of the bent leg. Good, legs back down, change over, turn the other way. Then we've got feet together. Bring those feet in, let the knees drop out. Let the weight of your knees just turn them out. If you want to take the stretch a little further, you can use those elbows. Good. Taking our feet nice and wide. Hands out. I want you to reach for the opposite foot. Bring it up. Go to the other side. Bring it in. Keep your legs wide, hands above the head. Reach forwards. And let's see if you can walk your fingers. Slightly further out. Pause. If it eases, try and walk a few centimetres further. And bring that fifth in. Just let your legs go wherever is comfortable. Hands together, reaching out in front. And then up above your head. Good, turn that to one side. Over to the other. And then hands round into the small of the back or reaching back behind. Chest forward, shoulder blades together. Good, slowly up to our feet. So we're standing tall. Let's pick up one foot, giving those thighs a little stretch. Change legs. feet out and let's sweep that through nice and high last time onto those toes and reach for the sky for three two one and relax it down well done <laughs>